Hello everyone. My name is Dai Chi, and I will give you the lecture, regarding the radiation or remediation activities. So, let's start today's lecture. Today's theme is, difference between radioactive material, radioactivity, and radiation. Are you ready? Mr. Daichi, so, what are you going to talk about today? Well, have you ever heard the words, radioactive material, radioactivity, and radiation? Yes, of course I have. In Japan, the accident of nuclear power plant happened in 2011, so shortly after the accident, I heard these words in news and saw them in newspapers, almost every day. Okay, very good. So, how about the difference between these three words? They look very similar, but do you understand the difference? Um. Well, right. I can't say that I understand perfectly the difference of these meanings. They sound so similar, but I am not sure what they precisely mean. No worries. You don't have to rush. You can take your time to learn the difference. Let me give you a few examples to help you understand better the difference of these words. Let's look at a family within the house. You can see the light hanging from the ceiling, right? Please take a look at this light. A light bulb has an ability to emit the light, and actually it emits the light like this, and people can feel it, as you now see in the animation. Yes, I can understand what you mean. We can feel the light in various situations in our daily life. For the next, let me elaborate by taking the boxing as an example. Now you can see two boxers playing boxing. Each boxer tries to punch the other, but let's focus on this boxer. This boxer has an ability to throw punches, and he actually throws punches like this. If his punch is hit, it could cause damage to the other. Yes, you are right. It does make sense. But how is the boxing related with the radiation issue? Okay. I understand how you feel it. Let's move back on the radiation issue, main topic of this lecture. So, please take a look at the radioactive material on the desk of the laboratory. In this case, radioactive material has the ability to emit the radiation. And it is possible, that the person close to the radioactive material can be affected by the radiation. You can see the summary of the aforementioned explanation in this table. A light bulb has an ability to emit the light, and boxer has an ability to throw punches. Radioactive material has an ability to emit radiation, and this ability is called, radioactivity. To be exact, the radioactivity is represented by the number of atomic disintegration per unit time, but I would like to explain the details of the units, related with radiation issues, in other lectures. Today a lot of incorrect expressions can be seen, such as, radioactivity travels, or impact caused by radioactivity, due to the misunderstanding of the meaning of the words radioactive material, radioactivity, and radiation. You have now learned the difference of these words in this lecture. So, let's use the correct expressions, like, radiation travels, impact caused by radiation or impact caused by radiation exposure, according to the context. Okay. They sound very similar, but I understand that they have different meanings. From now on I correctly use these words according to the context. So, let me wrap up my lecture by providing you the key points. Today I explained, by taking the light bulb, and boxing as examples, the meaning of three words, radioactive material, radioactivity, and radiation, which sound very similar. To put it simply, radioactive material is a material which emits the radiation. Radioactivity is an ability to emit radiation. Radiation sometimes includes all kinds of particle be more electromagnetic wave, in a broad sense. Please visit another lecture for the details. Okay, today's lecture is now dismissed. See you next time. 
In this channel, the useful information, regarding the radiation and remediation, will be provided to you. If you like it, please subscribe to this channel, and do not forget to click the like button.